going on guys today we're gonna be uh, propping out my boat um, I've been having some issues with it getting up on plane when underweight uh, the boat was propped without the t-top and other things that I've added so it's added more weight um, so we're gonna test the stainless prop that I currently have on we're gonna go out and do some test runs and compare some numbers and see what we come back with I'm hoping that the four blade will give me a little more lift and uh, keep the stern of the boat a little higher in the water. All right, I'm not in the cape. So we're gonna get this prop test underway with the three blade 19 pitch stainless prop that I currently have on the Yamaha 115 on the Key West 189FS. It's got a T-top tower. Uh, this first test is gonna be uh, with the stainless prop like I said and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run full throttle trimmed all the way down until we reach maximum speed and then I'm gonna trim it up until it's about ready to blow out so I'll record those and uh, let you guys know what those are all right so here we go guys hopefully you guys can see the gauges like I said before we're going to make this run trimmed all the way down until I hit max speed trim down and then we're going to trim up from there and get our top speed. And we're going to go the same direction. We should have the same weather uh, throughout these tests. So once I switch the prop, I'll immediately come back he out here and run the same distance. I'm going to try and keep this as even as possible. So here we go. So that was the first test going with the wind. I saw 38 miles per hour max at 5,600 RPMs. That was trimmed all the way up. So we're gonna spin around and head into the wind. Uh, are we going into the current? And we're not going into the current right now. So, but we are going into the wind. So that'll just be a good little baseline. Here we go. Swing over here to this uh, more shallower little sandbar area. There we go. That's probably a little better. Okay, now let's get this going. So we got our new prop, and we got our tools. Let's 
try not to lose any parts. <laughs> Spin the boat this way. Now, I am going to reuse this cotter pin, but you should not do that. But this is for testing purposes. Huh. You know what I didn't bring? <sighs> My hammer should work. I didn't bring a 2x4. Don't lose this guy. We'll put him in the bucket. Not advisable. What the f Boy, they really cranked that guy on there, didn't they? It seemed like more than 80 to 90 foot pounds to me. It's a big old stainless heavy prop. Ooh. ring must bottom out on the propeller shoulder so this is either direction boom okay that's on okay so that guy and then so we'll put this guy on Throw that guy on. And we will put our nut on. Roger, to get your GPS position. Look at all the bait. A little mud menace. And then we will install our nut. And just so you guys know, uh, whenever you do purchase a prop, you are going to have to buy the specific hub kit for your motor. Then we will put our cotter pin back in. This is not the most conventional way, folks. 
using a claw hammer. Give that guy a little bend. Prop ain't going anywhere. All right, so we just installed that new aluminum four blade Hustler propeller by Turning Point Propellers. Supposedly they're the fastest propellers on the market. We're about to find out. They say you don't lose any top speed switching to a four blade, so we'll find out here in a minute. All right, so we're in the same spot as before. We're gonna spin around and head with the wind first. Same test as before. And this is with the new four blade aluminum 17 pitch from Turning Point. We'll trim all the way down. We'll go as fast as we can go while trimmed down. And then we will trim up and find out our final top speed. Here we go. So I believe, off the top of my head, if I remember right, I gotta go back and watch the video, but I believe that I got 38 miles an hour at about 56, 5700 RPMs with the three blade stainless. This motor red lines, uh, this is a Yamaha 115, uh, four stroke, a 2012. I think it red lines at, uh, or rev limiter is at 6200. So, with the three blade, I saw 30, 38 miles an hour at between 55, 57, somewhere around there. With the aluminum four blade from Turning Point, I saw uh, 37 miles an hour at only about 5,200 RPMs. So maybe I should drop down two pitches, maybe a 15 four blade. Maybe I'll try that. That's that, I, I don't know what to think. I mean, maybe I'll try and find a 15 and uh go from there we're back out here doing some prop testing a couple days later uh these four blade 17 pitch didn't get me the performance that i was after after switching from the stainless 19 pitch three blade so this is what i'm working with now it's a 13 and a half by 15. so it increased quarter of an inch in diameter and i went down two pitches so Let's see what happens. So this is the test of the 13 and a half pitch or 13 and a half diameter 15 pitch four blade turning point prop.
that's pretty much perfect where I wanted to be. Uh, I did lose a little mile per hour. Um, I think 36 is what I was seeing before, 37. So, I mean, I really didn't lose too much, but I'm right there at six grand. So 53 and sit between 5,300 and 6,300 is a red line. And actually a red line at like, when I trimmed up too far, more like 62. Um, so we know that's good. So now I just want to do a test with my trim tabs down to see how quickly it pops up. So wait for this boat to go by and we'll spin around here. All right, so trim tabs are all the way down. Motor's trimmed all the way down. Oh, wow. The verdict is in. This is definitely the prop that I needed. It performs great. There is a weird noise I'm getting, so I'm gonna take it off and grease everything, clean everything how it's supposed to go, and hopefully that noise will go away. But it almost sounds like it's in my impeller, which shouldn't be right, because I just swapped that like 50 hours ago, something like that. Uh, going from a stainless three blade, 19 pitch, for me to get the same, actually a little better performance because I'm getting uh, up on plane much faster. Uh, so that's gonna help when carrying a load. And also when I'm in shallow areas. Uh, I can put those trim tabs down and just hop up on plane and get out of there. So that's the verdict guys. Hopefully you learned something. Um, it took me, I don't know, a good three, four days between, you know, busy stuff to do all this prop testing. So if you would, give me a like, uh, you know, the thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. So uh, when I do post new videos, you guys will be aware. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.